Welcome to our channel. In this video talk about allergy and explain their symptoms and causes with detail. Okay, let's start. Allergies are an abnormal and exaggerated immune system response to substances that are typically harmless to most people. These substances, known as allergens, can trigger an allergic reaction when they come into contact with individuals who are sensitive or allergic to them. Common allergens include pollen, dust mites, certain foods, example, peanuts, shellfish, dairy, insect stings, animal dander, and various medications. Causes Allergies are caused by an abnormal immune system response to substances that are typically harmless to most people. The specific causes of allergies can vary, but they generally involve a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Here are some key factors that contribute to the development of allergies. Number 1. Genetic predisposition. Allergies tend to run in families, suggesting a genetic component. If one or both parents have allergies, their children are at a higher risk of developing allergies themselves. However, the specific allergic reactions or the allergens to which a person is sensitive can vary among family members. Number 2. Environmental exposure. Exposure to allergens in the environment plays a crucial role in the development of allergies. Common environmental allergens include pollen, dust mites, mold spores, pet dander, and certain foods. The immune system can become sensitized to these allergens when exposed to them, leading to allergic reactions upon subsequent exposure. Number 3. Early Childhood Exposure some research suggests that early childhood exposure to allergens and infections may influence the development of allergies. The hygiene hypothesis proposes that children who grow up in overly clean or sterile environments may be more prone to allergies because their immune systems don't develop proper tolerance to harmless substances. Number 4. Cross-reactivity. Cross-reactivity occurs when the proteins in one allergen are structurally similar to those in another leading to allergic reactions to related substances. For example, individuals with a pollen allergy might experience cross-reactivity with certain fruits or vegetables because their proteins resemble pollen proteins. Number 5. Immune System Imbalance An imbalance in the immune system's response to allergens can contribute to allergies. In people with allergies, the immune system mistakenly identifies harmless substances as threats and launches an exaggerated response, leading to allergy symptoms. Number 6. Exposure timing. The timing and duration of exposure to allergens can influence the development of allergies. For example, exposure to allergens during certain critical periods of immune system development may increase the likelihood of developing allergies. Number 7. Other factors. Some environmental factors, such as air pollution and tobacco smoke, may exacerbate allergies or increase the risk of developing them. Additionally, certain medical conditions, like asthma and eczema, are closely related to allergies, and individuals with these conditions are more susceptible to allergic reactions. It's important to note that while these factors contribute to the development of allergies, the exact cause and mechanisms behind allergies can vary from person to person. Allergies can develop at any age, and the severity and specific allergens that trigger reactions can differ among individuals. If you suspect you have allergies or are concerned about allergens in your environment, it's advisable to consult with a healthcare professional or allergist for proper diagnosis and management. Allergy Symptoms Allergy symptoms can vary widely depending on the type of allergen involved and the individual's sensitivity. Common allergy symptoms may affect the respiratory system, skin, gastrointestinal tract, or other parts of the body. Here are some typical allergy symptoms. Number 1. Respiratory symptoms. Sneezing. Frequent and repetitive sneezing. Runny or stuffy nose. Often referred to as allergic rhinitis or hay fever. Itchy or watery eyes. Red, itchy, and teary eyes. Coughing. Persistent coughing. Especially in response to allergens like pollen or dust wheezing, a whistling or high-pitched sound when breathing, which may indicate asthma or allergic bronchitis, shortness of breath. Difficulty breathing, which can occur during severe allergic reactions. Number 2. Skin symptoms. Itchy skin, persistent itching, often accompanied by redness, hives, raised, red, itchy welts on the skin, eczema, dermatitis, inflammation, redness, and dry, itchy skin patches. 
contact dermatitis, skin rash or irritation due to contact with allergenic substances, example, certain soaps, plants, or metals. Number 3 Gastrointestinal Symptoms, Nausea and Vomiting Feeling Nauseous or Vomiting Especially after consuming allergenic foods, diarrhea, frequent, loose bowel movements, often associated with food allergies or intolerances, abdominal pain, cramping or discomfort in the stomach area. Number 4 Anaphylaxis In severe cases, allergies can lead to anaphylaxis, a life-threatening allergic reaction that requires immediate medical attention. Symptoms of anaphylaxis can include swelling of the face, lips, or tongue, difficulty swallowing or speaking, difficulty breathing or wheezing, drop in blood pressure, loss of consciousness. Number 5 Other Symptoms Fatigue Feeling tired or lethargic due to the body's immune response Headache Allergies can sometimes trigger headaches or migraines Ear congestion Feeling fullness or pressure in the ears Sinus pressure Discomfort in the sinus areas of the face it's important to note that the severity of allergy symptoms can vary from mild to severe. Allergies can also be seasonal, triggered by specific environmental factors like pollen during certain times of the year, or they can be perennial, occurring year-round due to indoor allergens like dust mites or pet dander. If you suspect you have allergies or experience severe allergic reactions, it's essential to seek medical advice. Allergists can perform tests to identify specific allergens and develop personalized treatment plans, which may include allergen avoidance, medications, antihistamines, decongestants, etc., and, in some cases, allergen immunotherapy, allergy shots, to desensitize the immune system to allergens. Severe allergic reactions, especially anaphylaxis, require immediate emergency medical attention.